record hot day in Michigan and uh, I just got out of work and I changed my clothes to enjoy the hot day and uh, stop at the gas station on my way home from work. We are downpouring and the temperature has dropped a lot. Like I'm kind of chilly now. This is our record hot day. Enjoying it. Getting some gas. Oh. On the plus side, I have a job lead. Maybe. I got a call. Maybe. Maybe it's my sign. Oh, hope so. I've been watching YouTube videos on the way home about nutrition. Well, here's my cart from Aldi's and talk a little bit about my Aldi's haul. You'll see some crisp food in there, some non-vegan crisp food, but most of that is uh, fruits and veg, fruits and veg, yeah, yeah. Hey, beautiful people. I just went shopping at Aldi's. I got some watermelon and I got a lot of stuff and a lot of people ask me, about shopping at Aldi, what's it like shopping at Aldi? So I'm going to record my Aldi haul here. Everything I got from Aldi today and talk about it, yeah. So first, I'm going to unload my truck. Hoops and all. <laughs> Okay, well, now that my trunk is empty, you may have saw like some chips sticking out of the bags and I want to start off by saying my boyfriend is not a vegan. So, um, this is going to include, you're going to see some non-vegan things, don't worry, I am not eating them. Um, those are for him, he covers his sweets and his snacks and those things that he still has to have. However, this is including a new meal that I'll be making every day is a fruit salad for lunch. For him, he has decided he wants fruit salad for lunch, which is awesome. So I bought even more more fruit than normal, and I will be also making a third meal throughout the day. So hopefully, I can learn to get that smoothly. And with fruit salad, that's like a bunch of different things. And hopefully, I can meal plan and stuff like that. I'll get it all figured out. Shopping from Aldi is uh, really good. They have great prices and I like the direction they are headed. I think they are definitely on their way. They're not quite there yet. Um, they don't have everything exactly the way I want it. Like um, the greens, they don't have just like fresh greens in bundles like I like to get from Kroger. They do have the boxes of organic greens, which I can't put so many of those in my refrigerator at once. They're really big and they have frozen organic spinach, which I'm trying this week. I tried to find out information about frozen versus not frozen, and frozen fruit and vegetables are, um, well vegetables are, I'm not sure about fruit, but frozen vegetables like corn and peas and carrots, those types of things, are blanched, which means they are dipped into very hot water, I'm sure boiling, I'm sure way over the recommended 108 degree temperature to it's some people say 108 some people say like 118 is where you, you start losing nutrition and vitamins start evaporating out of your food so they blanch it for like in and out and I'm not sure exactly how much that affects the nutritional value of your food because I know a benefit to frozen food is that it is like picked and immediately frozen well picked blanched frozen and so it's not like sitting out on a shelf for a long time, losing nutrients that way. 
So I do not know which one is better. I kind of go back and forth because I think that frozen is more convenient. The frozen spinach is much more condensed. I stack them up, stick them in the freezer, and I'm not buying spinach every other day, filling up my lettuce drawer. So yeah, this time I tried the frozen spinach because yeah, they don't have exactly the greens I want there. So hopefully they'll get better at that. And their organic section is small, but it's there and it's super affordable. Uh, they have a decent selection of, they have everything I need there. They have garlic cilantro, they don't have parsley. Um, they have sunflower seeds, you know, just all raw without the extra ingredients. All the tries where they can to not put the extra ingredients in their food. If you're just regular vegan or not even vegan at all, it's a great choice to not get all of these chemicals and preservatives in your food. Just being raw vegan, anywhere you go, your selection's narrowed down and same at Aldi. And yeah, I would like to see their organic, they have a lot of organic processed foods. Like I got organic salsa, which is super cool. I got that for Chris. But I would like to see a more organic lettuce, organic oranges and stuff like that. Organic apples. They have a small organic section. They have like avocados, tomatoes. It depends. It depends on what time you go, what they have. So they didn't have dates this time of year, which bums me out. I just realized I didn't get any dates today. So I don't have dates. That'd be so I'll have to go to the store again. <laughs> Constantly going to the store. But that's okay. It keeps my food fresh. All right, let's do this. Oh, did I just steal Ravana's line? All right, here's what I got. We got 12 pairs, that's my receipt. <laughs> Three packs of pears, they're not orga organic, but pears are one of the highest carb to low, lowest fat ratio fruits. So I like to throw those in smoothies, but most of them, probably half of them will be used for fruit salad. I got 19 bananas. I eat four bananas a day in my smoothies. These are not organic. They do, however, have organic bananas at Aldi, but um, I don't know, they're not on the dirty dozen of organic, so I don't mind it. And these are super cheap at Aldi. These are organic. These were $1.29 a package. So they're not on my diet meal plan, but um, they'd be a good snack if I want some. And I can also put some in the fruit salad. They're really sweet. These apples are not organic, but they're from Michigan, local. Spinach, I got six pounds of spinach, which will last me two days. <laughs> it is organic. It is frozen. I got sunflower seeds. Great thing about what like I was talking about Aldi is that um, their ingredients are super simple. Um, sometimes they have some that don't even have this sunflower oil, which I prefer. I don't like the extra oil. Okay. I got some organic greens. Not usually what I buy, but I need some to get through the weekend. Cilantro. I got some shampoo because I needed shampoo. I was kind of bummed out when I got home. I looked here and uh, it does not say not tested on animals. I thought for sure that Pantene would be not tested on animals, so I guess I'll have to look it up before I buy it again. Organic avocados are small. These are super small, but I got them anyway. So that's eight days worth of avocados. Dog treats. <laughs> Two boxes of dog treats. The ingredients list is ridiculous, but for the treats, I, uh, I'm not as picky as I am in their food. A lot of stuff there, wow. Peppers. I wish that I only eat red peppers. I only have red peppers in my meal plan. The nutrient makeup is different for your peppers, and I eat red ones right now. Um, I might have some of these other ones. I might put some in the fruit salad. I am not sure yet but they don't sell red peppers just on their own. So I have four days worth of red peppers. I'll look up and see if these are close or not to the nutrients of red. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
but it's four dollars and I'll just put it up on the cupboard because sometimes I want something to drink and I like to have a red wine in the house. Over the last holiday, I grabbed the last wine that was on the shelf. I just got some romaine because I, I knew I didn't have a lot of greens. <laughs> didn't have a lot of greens. But I thought I might need some more greens. I don't usually eat romaine in my green smoothie, but I might. That's what these greens are for, is my morning green smoothie. Also, Chris will probably have some salad out of those. I got two raisins. What do we got in here? Where's the ingredients? Ingredients. Raisins. Simple. Three watermelons. Three cantaloupes. So that's all my food. I still have some food. So I'm missing some things here. This is not all that I eat in a week. The apples here, I eat half an apple a day. So this is a lot of apples for me. It'll last a while. Okay, for Chris, we've got chips, chips, sweet, fish, juice. This I thought was cool. It's organic. USDA organic. Let's see here. Ingredients. Salt, vinegar. Not bad. Those ingredients are not bad. Organic sugar. At least the sugar is organic. <laughs> gross. He likes some gross things. Gross. Those fake crab. What is fake crab? Pollock. So bad. So bad. <laughs> gross. Asparagus. So that's an asparagus. Doesn't say ingredients, but it must just be asparagus. How about this? Ingredients. Brussels sprouts. No preservatives. Trail mix. A lot of ingredients in there, of course. Let's check this out. Focus. Focus. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Alright. So, that's the boyfriend's food. So, so I get this out of the way. Get that out of the way. Gross, gross. Probably the gross things. This is kind of in the middle. This is a middle thing. Chips are a middle thing, too. Yeah, the bad outweighs the good, but <laughs> working on it. Oh, fruit salad, though. Oh, yeah. It'd be good.